slowly becoming one of the most fierce rivalries in the Netball Super League. It's Celtic Dragons versus Strathclyde Sirens, Wales versus Scotland. It's time for the Celtic Clash, round two. After a scrappy start to the round 14 fixture, it was Dragons who were quickest to find their groove. Stacey and Facey picking up some crucial rebounds, allowing Dragons head into quarter time with a two goal lead. The home side continued to gain momentum in the second quarter. Dragons were clinical in attack, with Kyra Jones making strong drives to cut open the Sirens' defence. Beth and Dyke teamed up well with Khalifa McCollin, whose pinpoint shooting accuracy kept the visitors at bay. Despite a dip in performance from both sides in the third, Pocket Rocket Beth and Dyke continued to lead the Dragons' attack, showing solid ball control around the circle edge. Shooters Lewis and McCollin remained resilient under the post against a physical Sirens' defensive unit. Dragons played with patience in the final 15, some solid defensive pressure saw a trademark D Balakoro interception. A brand new court, a bigger venue and a bigger home crowd proving to be the winning formula for the Celtic Dragons. How good does it feel to grind out that result today? Oh, it feels really good. Um, you know, it's it's been a long time coming. Um, and you know they're such a physical team. You know you can't take you can't take any team in this league lightly. Um, so it's just really good just to be able to grind that out and actually um, be able to build on the previous score that we um, beat them by before. And physicality-wise, out on court today, it was relentless from both teams. Yeah. I mean, what was it like just being out on court involved in that game? Oh, it's like you probably played two hours rather than 60 minutes. Um, I mean, I feel sorry for our shooters. They they had like saddles on their back, I think. But um, you know. You know, granted, both teams were quite physical, um, but I think at times, um, especially in that second quarter, we did utilise more of our turnover. And then, obviously, coming out in that third quarter, I mean, we we sort of I think we went five nil up at one stage. So you know, it's just being able to to utilise more so turnover, and then also taking our centre past the goal.